Student Sports Show. All right, Mike, I saw this on the rundown. Um, wasn't really sure what to expect <clears throat> from it. So go ahead and explain it to me. I have a feeling this could be entertaining. It's going to be fun. Yeah, we're going to play What's More Likely, which we've done before. Yeah. I give you two scenarios. You tell me what's more likely. And these are all crossover sports. So they're all involved with Cleveland, but a little crossover. So I'm going to give you two scenarios. You tell me what's more likely. Okay. And then we've got three fun ones that have nothing to do with sports at the end. Oh, you good. Ready? Steve, let's take the first one. What's more likely before their careers are over? What's more likely? Deshaun gets MVP votes or Evan Mobley gets MVP votes? Wow. Before their careers are over, who's more likely to get an MVP vote? This is a tough one. No, it's not. It's not hard at all. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Watson. He's a quarterback. He got weapons. They got the coach of the year. They got a good defense. They got a better <clears throat> chance of having a better record. And half the battle is having a really good record. Half the battle is sure. having a really good record. And, having, and stats. And stats. Mobley, I don't even have, I don't think he has the skill set to get that off. Ooh. So if you missed uh, yesterday's episode of the Ultimate 216 show, I called it perception versus reality. And I uh, learned firsthand that the perception of Deshaun Watson in Cleveland uh, on, on social media is different from the reality. But that perception nationally is different from reality here. <laughs> I don't think Deshaun Watson, no matter how well he play, unfortunately, will receive any MVP votes. The NFL won't even put the man on their IG page, okay? <laughs> Let alone give him any MVP votes. Evan Mobley, he's a nice guy. And nice guys, you know, they finish first when it comes to stuff like that. They finish the last media. in real life. Well, he's going to have to get nice guy. That nice guy, 15 points a game, ain't getting no votes. Yeah, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, so, this is an interesting one. I would parse it down to skill set. And to me, there's no question Deshaun Watson has the skill set to become an MVP candidate. He doesn't have to win it. I'm not saying either one of these guys are going to win it because I don't think they will. Right. But we're just talking about one vote. Right. And if he does this, if he throws for 40 touchdowns and 10 picks, he's winning the MVP. But it's got to be so overwhelmingly better than anybody else. They got, because if it's close, he won't win. They, they, what, what do you think the record has to be? If he I think they've got to be 14-3, and 13-4. and four. Listen, yeah, if yeah. these Browns come out and go 13-4, and four, are the one seed in the AFC, yeah. and his numbers are 40 touch, 10 picks. They have no choice but to recognize him. He has no choice. I mean, the, the voters have no choice and they got but kids. to say, yeah, they may begrudgingly vote for him. <laughs> be like, but <laughs> if it's that obvious, and let's just say, you know, look, Patrick Mahomes' numbers last regular season were nowhere near MVP numbers. They just weren't. So if he has another season like that, and there's not somebody that is in that ballpark, he's going to get votes. I look at Evan Mobley's skill set, and you know where I stand on him. I think he's a nice player. I think he's a really nice player. I think he's a super nice guy. But that part of it keeps him from ever being the guy. I mean, he doesn't have that killer's edge. Kobe, Jordan. I mean, you think of these guys. These guys will cut your heart out yeah. and stomp on it in front of their family. And Kobe should have more MVPs than he The did. fact that Kobe, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's another that's reason. That's a whole other I just we're, don't see We'll be having that conversation all day. <laughs> Evan Mobley, uh, I just, unless he completely changes his internal personality and the way he plays the game, he has, He's a really nice player, he but don't I don't have, see him as an MVP. He don't have to, like, he had to be Giannis to be a big. And you know that, what's stunning to me? Like, no. I know. I know we couldn't do the Cavs talk, but what's We'll do it in the TV show me, at 1230, okay. by the way. Watch Channel 3 at 1230. What is stunning to me is, with three games left in the season, there is still a possibility that they end up as a play-in team. That makes me sick the to my stomach. The seven seed. That makes now, me there's sick. also a chance that they end up as... The two seed. That makes me sick. But the fact that this team went out in the offseason and addressed its weaknesses and brought some shooters in here, oh, and they're they? going to lose considerably more games this year than last, and they're in a fight for a playoff spot? Some would argue they didn't. Mobley get... hasn't taken that jump, kids. Mm. Number two, what's more likely? 2024 is Amari Cooper's last season with the Browns? Or 2024 <laughs> being Darius Garland's oh, last season with the Cavs. Hmm. 
I'll let you start. <laughs> yeah, you I got to think on this one. Um, I sent these to Bull this morning, and he responded, these are all effed up. So <laughs> just so you guys know it's coming. <laughs> Mike, I'm, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm a, I'm this sucks, man. <laughs> people, have been, people have been talking about the demise of, of Amari Cooper for about two years. And all he does is keep going out there putting up 1,200 yards. Yeah. And it don't look like he's falling off. Darius Garland, on the other hand, um, it looks like his game is different. I don't know what happened to him this year. Um, I've heard some things. He's been going through some things off the court a little bit. Um, but in terms of the, the, the clock ticking, yeah, I think, I think the whole situation with Donovan Mitchell and figuring out what they're going to do is going to be tough. I, I think Darius Garland is their biggest piece they can move. I think this might be it, especially if they, especially if they get bounced early. I'll answer it based on the contract. Darius Garland's not tradable. I think you. I think you can get something for him. Is he a max player? No, he's no. not no max player. But someone's going to have to think he is. You're not going to get no or and, you're not going to get no quality return on investment when it comes to Darius Garland. But for me, I think it's more likely that 2024 is Darius, Gar- Darius Garland's last year, and here's why. I'm going to take a different spin to it. The Cleveland Browns traded for Jerry Judy, a guy that Andrew Berry had wanted for the last three years. They know that he, you know, he got some issues, and I believe that part of reaching, helping him reach his full potential was pairing him with Amari Cooper. Right, yeah. I find it hard to believe that you trade for him, you sign him to a new contract to, to with the growth and development part of things and Amari being a mentor, you don't sign him for a three-year deal and and just for the let Amari Cooper walk out the door right. after this year. That's that would be my reasoning. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense to me either. I, I I would think that if I'm betting, I'm betting more that they're both gonna be here after the twenty four season. But I mean, gosh, I don't know how you trade Garland. Don't know how you trade him. Play two K. Turn off all the uh Here's what, here's what Darius Garland is. Darius Garland, I, I call, I've called this before. He's a, a better version of Colin Sexton. He can gather stats. I love his game, but close and late, he's just a mistake-prone player. Whether it's not getting a shot off or it's a, an, an, an unforced error on a turnover or a bad decision or driving to the basket and getting a bad shot, when the game gets tight, I don't want him as the... The primary ball handler. The thing he does that irritates me, I call it the Ja Morant because Ja does it a lot. The whole roll the ball up the court. Oh, it drives me walk nuts. walk it up the court. And it seems like every time he do it, it don't work in his favor. Can I, can I, on that point, when they blew the 26-point lead the other day to the Clippers, he was doing that with seven, eight, nine minutes left <laughs> in the game. And I want to say... Uh, Pick the damn ball up and dribble. Darius, we're <laughs> winning. We want the clock to go away. What are you doing? The clock still is running. It's just a shot Our, clock. Even the after shot t- clock doesn't start. Okay, so it's a shot clock. Well, then that makes sense. Yeah. I still just, I just don't want him in the game close and late. By the way, he is a defensive liability close and late. Right? I mean, doesn't it seem yeah, that no, more that, often than not, J.D. That is true. brings him out of the game in those, you know, when you're managing for one possession, he's out of the game. When, they, when they're on Man, defense. you know what? I trade him for Scooney Pan. Give me Scooney Pan, <laughs> Oh, my <dog>. God. <laughs> Give me Scooney Pen. All right, next one. I remember <laughs> Scooney Pen. He is a Boston College transfer, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. <laughs> it was me and Scooney Pen paid for the same college coach. That's exactly right. Crazy. He did. <laughs> uh, next up, who's more like, you what's more likely? <laughs> Steven uh, Vogt is still coaching the Guardians in 2027, or Kevin Stefanski is still coaching the Browns in 2027. What's more likely? Um, oh, 2027. Seven. What is it, 2024? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, given the the tenure of NFL coaches, and I mean, most of them are gone in five years, and he's already four seasons in the bank, so I would just say that he's closer to the end than vote who's at the beginning. Because, see, see, the way the Guardians do, the Guardians is not in the business. I'm assuming Stephen Vogt took a, a substantial pay cut from Tito. Oh, he absolutely did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they like they're like, oh, this is a this is a this is a bargain. It was a bargain the, right here. Know, the scary thing about that is, he's gonna. Uh, my fear is he'll get poached oh, by a Dodgers team. Okay, okay. Or you know, like if he has a lot of success here early in his first two years, you know, how loyal is he going to be to Cleveland, where he had no ties? Terry wanted to come to Cleveland. Think about that. Mm-hmm. His dad played here. He spent some young years here in Cleveland. 
He knew the organization very well. How many years did it take for uh, Manny Acton to get Shadow Oh, Rolled? he was maybe two, three years. And okay. he was out. What about, I forgot what about him. Eric Wedge was another one. What about <laughs> Eric, Eric Wedge? Wedge. How, how long was that? Couple, maybe four. Now, listen, he come in here and be playing around, shucking and jiving, <laughs> and they win 60 games right here. No, that ain't that. They, 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 might, they might get. I'm going to go with Stefanski. But you know what? I'm a, who's more likely Stefanski? Because guess what? I don't think the Browns, unless. But see, here's the thing. Last year, he was coach of the year. But there were points last year. Go back the year before, especially. There were points last year where people were calling for his job. This oh, guy. somebody tagged me in a video this of guy. you. This guy. Oh, they were saying, I oh, I seen the video. I just this said guy. Yeah, you was like, I don't like Kevin Stefanski. He's just not a good coach. I'm trying to sit up here acting like he what? is a good coach. And what year was that? That was last 26. year. 26. Or uh, that 20, was last 23. Season. It was last year? That was last season. Okay. Yeah. That well, was like, look points. at your boy. <laughs> hey, I stand on what I was standing on. Whatever. <laughs> you are the deep, the Duke <laughs> Ninja. Hey, listen, what, if, it, if it was after one of these games, if it happened to be what, what game did they play really terrible last I, year? I think it's going to be uh, Kevin. Mr. Fasky, though, I think he'll still be here in 2027. You know what? That means you got to write a song called uh, really, really Terrible. Really terrible, really terrible. right? Listen. But just, just for every point that I've made up until now, you know, Kevin Stefanski being a quality man, a quality coach, a great leader of men, we've seen him get the most out of about four or five different quarterbacks. We've seen him take this team to the playoffs when yeah. the world was at, you know, at a standstill. It just seems like this dude has played a significant part in changing the Cleveland Browns overall culture. I agree with that. That uh, yeah. this is the dude that's going to be here no matter and they like what him. else changes. People like so, him. That, this locker room likes him. If he's still here, he would likely be top three or four tenured coaches in the NFL, depending on what happens with Harbaugh. Man, Mike and Tomlin, Tomlin and Mike Tomlin and Harbaugh is probably still. They're being the OGs fish- now, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Tomlin. Now what, that wasn't it Fisher that was a. Uh, Fisher was with the Titans for so long, he was like in three different cities with him, wasn't he? Houston and Nashville. Tennessee. Then he, he was with him when they first, uh, uh, no, who was that? Wasn't he with him? Uh, he went to the Rams and then he went with the Rams to LA. Because I remember oh, when he was he with Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had two different team moves. Yeah, yeah he had two. tenure head coaches right now. Tomlin, 17 years. Harbar, uh, Harbaugh, excuse me, 16 years. Andy Reid, 11. No one else over seven. Where, where is Stefanski at four? Probably middle of the pack. Uh, yeah, four is tied for ninth. I'm telling you, these dudes have a shelf life. Tied for ninth. These dudes have a shelf life of like three years. Hey, Mike, is it too much to ask? I'm not sure, but didn't him and McVay get hired the same year? No, Sean McVay's been a head coach for seven years. Seven years? Yeah, 2017. He got hired right out of high school. I was just thinking about the coaching class. He's still in high school. <laughs> him, the other people in his class are Mike McCarthy. Is the only other one from 2020 who is still at the same. Wow, class. that's a strange year. A year where only two head coaches got fired in the offseason. No, no, no. That are still with their current team. Oh, that are still with. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Next. That means everybody else like hired that year has already fired. been fired. Exactly. All right. Dang. Next one up. What's more likely? Donovan Mitchell resigns or signs an extension with the Cavs this summer. Or someone on the Guardians hits 35 home runs. Yeah, this that season. one. Didn't Mitchell ain't <laughs> resigning? Mitchell is not resigning. If he does, it's going to be a sign and trade type thing. Yeah, I told Mike what it was the other night. Yeah, yeah Bo. Listen, <laughs> yeah, Bo. Yeah, it's not happening. My boy, <laughs> he said it ain't happening. No, My no. boy, Bo Naylor going deep 35 times this or, year. If not Bo. Uh, li- yeah, Bo. <laughs> Listen. Jose can go for 35. <laughs> this, that, he, he was not signing. He, what he wanted to see was, is Darius Garland's game going to come back different? Is Evan Mobley's game? See, when you're an elite player like that, we, we he understand what people's game is, Right. So when you watch a game where Paul George, who we don't even think is a top twenty player anymore, goes Boy, did for he fifty, take that game over. Goes for forty and just and when you see that front row and center and your soldiers is out here getting mowed down, you're like, nah, we can't win with that. Did you I guys got, talk about that the next day? Why were there no defensive adjustments? Because we got JB starter coach. <laughs> For another three games, for another whenever three, we last boy, in the playoffs. But, but our, our, our adjustments and our game planning is JV at best. I I just Dan is Kobe Gil- Altman in, in the line of fire too. Yes, very much so. Yeah, very much so for pe- peddling that propaganda that 51 wins. Te- now I guarantee he don't come out and say nothing about no 50 wins this year. How many wins they got? Matter of fact, 47. 
Uh, I do not believe they could reach 50. I'll no, I think they have 47. I think they got 46. Left. I think they're 46 and 34. 46? Yeah. You'd have felt, you felt backwards. They're 47 and 33. Yeah, so, so you could, the most you could win now is 49. And, it had and the, you added some nice parts. And you had the third best record in the league at the All-Star break. I mean, injuries played a big role in that, but yeah, it, hey, it is not. It's not hey, excusable. Mikey, it's we, not excuse. I'm, say, I'm we, saying it's not excusable. It's well, not. when they were injured, they played their best basketball. <laughs> right, they were ever. not excusable. <laughs> the injuries. They not. had key injuries to two of their three stars, and went 18 and two in one of the hottest stretches of Cavalier basketball we've ever seen. Unacceptable. Yeah. We, All right, I, next one. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of the Cavs, what's more likely, they win two playoff series this season, or the Browns win the Super Bowl? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Hey, hey, Jay, Super Bowl. I don't even need to think Super about that. Super Bowl. Because the Cavs can't win two playoff series. <sighs> you thinking? You talking about this year? This year. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Super Bowl. Of course you are. You're G-Bush. But that's tough, though. That's tough. You think there's a world that the Cavs can pull it together and win Two playoff games. Sure. Get to the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, they, well right now, if they so right Man, now, the Browns had a million people they, hurt, and they were still one of the best got, teams in the NFL. If they, if they got in, so, say for instance, they got um, they got to play Orlando first. Orlando first, right? Right. They can win that. Okay, and then who who theoretically then would they play? Then you get either Milwaukee, either Milwaukee, Boston, or New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Milwaukee's playing like crap. New York. Yeah. Playing so, playing uh, Giannis has a strained calf. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Julius Randle's out for the season. OG's not healthy. OG ain't healthy. If you catch the Knicks, you might be able to catch something. Lightning in a bottle. Man, you know who his part owner is? You think Jimmy ain't finna go pay for Giannis to go get the top the top hey, seat? The Knicks have pink yeah, papers yeah, on yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. own us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Um, we, Milwaukee playing nasty. Well, if we get Boston, it's a wrap. Yeah, four, Boston, four zero. Boston's tough. Boston's um, tough. You might, you'll lose the series to the, I think you can win exactly. two he games against case. Milwaukee. He's making a case for this. Um, he really is. I think you. There's can, a case. The, I agree it, it's the Super Bowl, but I think it, you could make the case. You can make the case if they, if they catch, if they catch the Knicks four game, look, game seven, right? <laughs> Donovan Mitchell hot. See, you'd have a better chance of convincing me by saying, well, the Browns have no chance of going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, the they East do. outside of Boston is a giant pile of dog crap. It right is now. right now, but I'm, I'm just got to be a little better than the rest of the dog crap. Hey, yep. Hey. I, yeah. Watch this, Jay. Watch no, this. Jay, no. Watch not watch this. Milwaukee right now. Hey, Jay, I know Jay. Milwaukee's limping. If Giannis watch isn't this. healthy, they could beat Milwaukee. If you had... I'll take Milwaukee with an injured Giannis. If you right had now. Darius Garland of two, because we know Donovan D- injured. <laughs> no, if Darius Garland, no. of two, if, if you had Darius Garland of two years ago, oh, you could win that. Yeah, you could win that series. And if we have, if it, <laughs> here, you go. Like this, here you go, here you go, I just set you up. I set you up. If we're gonna play ifs and buts, because <laughs> if my grandmother had wheels, she'd be a bike. <laughs> but if we're gonna play ifs and buts, I'll tell you this: <laughs> if. If, if I had the wisdom get, I had to that's a shut great up, line. Earl. That's it's a, a great fact. line. It's a fact. She'd be a bike. Listen. And Earl would ride down by now. Listen. We know, <laughs> listen. If I had the wisdom I had two years Mobley ago, my life would be to totally play different. like the player that everybody told me he was going to be at this point, yeah. yeah, we could win two playoff series. Sure. All right, we got three more. These are non-sports. Okay. All These right. are the fun ones. These are the fun <laughs> ones. Dang. What's more likely to happen? Jay throws a no-hitter in a nine-inning game this summer. Or Bull coaches his Little League team to an undefeated season. Well, Bull is saying that he thinks he's got a championship team. Bull, Bull on also a hot seat. Yesterday, he's not a good head coach. He's on a hot seat. He's not a good head coach? He's, 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 he says he's feeling the pressure already. It's all on him. Ooh, yeah, that's not a good I'm head going coach. with Jay throwing a, a nine in and no hitter. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'll do that, too. I cannot wait, you know, as this Little League season goes on to critique Bull as a manager. You know, we're going to get some Little League uh, reporters on yeah, to talk about the to. season. To talk We're about what Bull the is doing. Choices. If he has the wrong bat in order, we better criticize I'm fascinated that Bull says he's feeling the pressure already. It's freaking Little League. Yeah, one practice. If I don't... And make, he's feeling pressure? Hey, man, where you at in your rehab, man? I don't know. <laughs> I, I start throwing... <laughs> I, mean, I start I throwing know, <laughs> in... On the 17th. What's today? The 12th? The 12th, I think yes. it's next Wednesday. There you go. I mean... And that didn't come without a lot of my blood, sweat, and tears. And blood was part of it. But I tell you, I am a little unnerved... This is the first time I've ever had anything done to my elbow. I've had my shoulder worked on. I had a torn labrum and biceps tendon. Uh, but I tell you, I, there were times last year where I thought I had no-hit stuff. I gave up two hits. 
It's a complete game shutout. I'm, I don't think I'm there. There are some teams in our league that are offensive challenged. If I come out and have one of those hot days, I mean, are you going? Are you are you doing a Nick Chubb thing? Are you going to be ready by opening day? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, like you got to you. No, we so, catch you during the playoffs. I, actually, this is a, this is UCSS <laughs> exclusive. Uh, my team is going to uh, be part of the Pan American Games that are here in Cleveland. Nice. The team that won the World Series down at Breaking <laughs> nice. News. Thank you for that, Steve. Nice. Uh, I'm sure everybody's on pins and needles waiting to hear. Yes. So here's the thing: if we could close the deal and win. This is worldwide. There are uh, teams from, uh, there will be athletes from, I believe, a hundred and over a hundred countries. Mm-hmm. If, if we win that, then in the span of 12 months, we would have won the city championship, the national world series, and the Pan American gold so medal. One more before we move on, Mike, because this is the, another biggest question as you compared the situation to Nick Chubb, another superstar player coming off a, a major injury. Did you get your deal restructured as well? <laughs> yeah, my deal is I play, and uh, they sometimes pay my uh, entry fees for tournaments. Gotcha. <laughs> like, yo, like, like, so, so, I mean, are you on that active roster for the Pan Am Games? Are they yes. putting you? Oh, so no, you I am on Crawford, the active roster. Is you serious? Yeah. yeah, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. By July, I think the games are 12th to the 19th. By then, I should be, you know, barring any setbacks, which, you know, that happens. I chose not to have Tommy John surgery. Shame I went people. through a procedure that other guys recently have gone through and didn't work out so well for them. So I don't know. We put you at first base, dog. I could definitely play shortstop and hit, even if I can't pitch. See? I will still play shortstop and hit. I just, uh, listen, this, in, this, I've never seen the intramurals get upgraded to the Pan Am games. Yes, over we're there. in. This is crazy. We are in. Our we, team got, we got two more we got to get in here. What's more likely to happen this summer? Ant scoops Mary Kay Cabot on a major Browns breaking news story. <laughs> I, or you Earl can't, shaves his dreads. Oh, I know that ain't happening. The vibes. For, for, first of all, you can't put Anthony scoops and then Mary Kay in the same joint. That's just. <laughs> oh, I was I, mean. I was saying, on, what are you talking? I said, whoa, 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 it ain't nothing crazy. Wait, whoa. it ain't nothing crazy. Scoop is scoop is like you know that, that's my girl. All he, all that is is Mr. Cabot. It's gonna to have to come see Ant. That's all. Oh yeah, see, that's the problem. You know what I meant. Y'all, y'all knew what I well, meant. Well, I judging by yeah. Earl's eyes when he saw what part two was of that, that it, I'm going with part one. I'm disappointed because he knows me so you know damn well. You are never shaving your head. No, people think I'd be lying when I say there's no amount of money that you can give me to make me cut my hair off. If I cut my hair off, it'll be because I decided internally it's something I want to do. I love my hair that much. Your children. Wow. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> but there is an amount of money. There, there, there is a number there that is you a can number. cut those off for. Hey, we, we, I feel like if they come with any. Listen, first Earl, of all. come on. First of all, come on. If I told you right now there was $250,000 in a bag right here. I'm not right doing here, it. You're I'm not cutting doing those dreads, Somebody bro. said, somebody has said something in the chat, I think like a couple million, and I said no. Man, listen. Yeah. They give him fifty thousand. You, you can grow enough hair back to start the dreads again. We're we gonna give you all you can eat now later for a year. So fifty thousand so, dollars in a meal so, plan so, over but, at Cleveland State. My, my hair is a part of me. My hair That's like, true. It's part of what it makes me feel good, right? Dude, so most all people I'm gonna would have cut is, off a limb for that all, kind of. All money. I'm gonna have is two what two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and I'm not internally don't feel well. Like yeah, but that ain't you, a good trade. How long off. would it take for you to grow enough hair back? I'll to get have, the dreads so back. my hair where they at right now, this is six years of growth. No kidding. This is six years. He's, he's not, he, I'm not he, doing it. He, all you got to do is cut them, freeze them and have somebody Why sew you them back saying, in. This is not so, <laughs> nothing. Sew them back in. Nothing. It happens all the time, Jay. I know. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, look, it. look, it's his decision. It's his hair. You, you know, just I like, would say this to you, Earl. There is a hell of a lot more to you than hair. No, I feel that, but like, I, I like my hair. Like money is just, I mean, okay. I'm not doing it. Hey, I'm just not doing that's it. That's why I'm going with. I was going with Ant anyhow. All right, we got one last one here. What's more likely? G. Bush quits UCSS to partner with Deshaun Watson, open more lefties cheesesteaks across the country, <laughs> or I sign an endorsement deal with McDonald's. Oh, that one. I mean, your nickname is McNuggets. Did you see G and D Dub at uh at lefties? I did, but G's too much about the grind. He's put in so much work. You think he's gonna leave this behind? I need for multiple, money, yeah. I need multiple <laughs> streams of income, and restaurants is kind of difficult to maintain. If, I'm not doing a, that. If a restaurant is wildly successful, 
mm-hmm. wildly successful. And this was before we had to pay them $20 an hour. Yeah. You're making 10 cents on the dollar right. at a wildly successful I, restaurant. I'm not doing that. There's no money in it. Restaurants is crazy. I'm going to just chill out, man. Now, listen, if they want to give me that endorsement, <laughs> lefties Maybe all you day. get the McDonald's endorsement <laughs> deal. We see the super chat from Mike Rodriguez. He says, get Jack Duffin on. Great for explaining the cat. We'll see you on KYC in three minutes. Peace. Peace.